Hi guys, I'm back with another video and today I'm gonna to be making some capes. So let's begin. But before we begin, things you're gonna need uh, pretty basic. Flower making wires, golden, malleable, really cheap. Paper tape, uh, doctor tape to be exact. This is, you can get this from any medical store, it's really nice. Can be easily painted over, unlike cello tape. This is a pain to deal with. And the best thing about this is you can tear it with your hand. It's also called masking tape and a pair of scissors or a cutter whatever you prefer to you know cut stuff with so without any further ado let's begin till now i've made a few a few types of capes so let's go with the first type i made back in 2017 this is really simple uh, i used a wire as you can see it's clearly visible with this crease and put paper on both sides now as cool as that might seem and as you know articulatable as this might be it wasn't that easy because i put paper on one side and tape the other side this meant the wire was quite visible and again i made this thor group faction figure which was again quite nice for a noob back then uh, but the cape really was a disappointment okay then i tried a second method which was which is what i use nowadays this taking a wire and then putting paper tape around it now this makes perfect creases and the even if the wire breaks, the tape can hold it in. I did try making a proper cape with the cloth for that for one Batman sculpture I made. Sculpture, not action figure. But that's a different thing. I used a thicker wire for that. Let's ignore that for now. This cape can really give you a lot of options. Uh, I think Robin was one of the first people I tried this on. You also had Superman. I think it was Batman. I don't remember. And the best one was Doctor Strange. He's somewhere in my box. So I don't... I don't really know where I kept him. Okay, let's ignore that. Third type of cape. Uh, not technically a crepe, cape, it's more of a waist cloth which I made for Broly. Now, this thing really doesn't move except for the fact that it's stuck on only one point. That's to allow for articulation. But you can shift it down and up to some point to allow for the leg to kick. And thanks to the wires, it can actually fold out or fold back depending on what kind of a pose you're trying to simulate. And if you want to check this guy out or any of these or this guy out, I'll link it up here somewhere. And the third type was Shazam cape. It's basically this guy but smaller. And the thing is, I also made this thing. This is like smaller and this also has a wire in it to give it support so it doesn't just fall off because this is just a piece of tape. And yeah, Shazam. Uh, if you want to check his video out, I'll link it up here again. Same thing. Now to make a cape, it's quite simple. First of all, you take your flower making wires. You don't take all of them, you just like take one. They're really cheap. If you're even buying one. Okay. And you do a thing that I do with my action figures too. You double weave the thing. You fold it on itself. And then you twist it. Continuously twist it. Oh Christ. So at this point it's flat and then once you've twisted it until it looks something like this now it's double weaved it has more strength and you know the durability is technically increased for this video i'm going to be using this prototype action figure i made for you know all the capes so the next step is to i guess draw the cape give me a second now let's say i'm using the surface so i'll put my action figure down you can use any paper, I'm just, this is more convenient to me. And you take where the action figure's shoulders begin and then you drag it out. Something like that. Now you'll have a basic shape that looks like this. Now this is gonna be the part which is, of, uh, you know, which is shown on the back. Now, the cape usually folds over the shoulders. So, you're gonna draw two flaps just like that. This is a rough sketch, so please ignore the fact that I have horrible art. Okay, now you take the wire that you made, you put it down, and you trace over the whole thing. Now, if you want to keep the cape more streamlined and you know pointy at the corners you can just do this make it shorter in length 
once it's something like this you take till here take till here and you cut this part off so this I'm going to be using a wire cutter scissors, scissors and nail cutters work too but don't spoil nail cutters I learned that the hard way Look at that. You cut the second side too. And you got a cape shape. Now I'm gonna cover this thing with tape. So, done. Basically, what I did here is took some tape, wrapped it around, stuck it down, cut the excess off the edges. Perfect. Now, this might not look like the best thing ever because you gotta paint it now. But before you paint it, take an action figure line it up or let's take this and line it up taking the pencil because this is masking tape mark the areas out which you want to cut and keep the middle area small in the beginning so that you can make adjustments later this works for now take a reaction figure and then put it on now if you want the cape thing to drape even more over the shoulders if this isn't good, if this isn't good enough for you idiots you can always take a cape scissors and make the cut even deeper works out every time there you go this you know drapes more of the shoulders and makes it look technically kind of better. Uh, second trick which I use for making capes, which is you know which works out every time, that is you take an old sheet of paper, you cut it out of the size which you want the cape to actually be. So let's say I'm doing a drape over the shoulder cape. I cut out a small portion. I take the figure and using the paper. Wrap it around. Now, whilst it's wrapped around, take my pencil and do rough markings. Now, this is what we're going to use for the whole thing. This basically provides a rough sketch for the whole cape you're going to make. Once it goes over the shoulder, there you go. Now, I can make this smaller, so I'm going to make this a little better looking so it doesn't uh, you know come in the way of the articulation of the action figure something like that i can make this even better by folding this in but let's just leave that for now this is going to be like the basic sketch of our cape now i'm going to take this take some wire like this leftover piece put it on top that's that's my frame. So I'm gonna take the tape that I have, wrap this thing up. Done. Uh, so I chose. I didn't film this because it was really boring. Uh, I chose a purple color for this and a red for the border, and also a blue for this, a red and a purple. So I was gonna do a Superman design, but then I remembered that these triangles are pretty cool and stuff. So I went with that too, and in the end I combined these two to give it. <clears throat> that really, really, you know, nomadic effect, I guess you can say. I also painted two eyes on this guy because he was kind of eyeless. These look like cheeks, I know that, but just just go with what I'm doing right now. Now, the cape, the articulation on this cape is kind of crazy. This cape only has articulation on the top, but this guy, you can pull off all sorts of poses with him. Now, you can remove these two because they're still separate pieces. I stuck them at only this point. <coughs> Excuse that. So I can lift this up and pull this down. Now this cape, let's say I want a pose in which the wind is from this side. I'll take my cape and I'll just do that. Now I can do a scene in which he's walking with his hand in front. And look at that, that's like, that looks perfect. 
and I really haven't expanded a lot on my capes. Like I have not really experimented a lot as much as on, <clears throat> as much as I have done with my action figures. Please excuse my throat; it's kind of destroyed at this point. And let's just say I want a dropping effect, as if he's falling, like Batman, but he's in Batman. So straighten the legs out. Now your cape can be the best thing ever, but your action figure has to be better. So I suggest watching more of my videos. I'm kidding. If you don't want to watch, it's your wish. So this is him in a falling pose, and I can do a landing pose too. Look at that. The pose is so malleable you can just push it with two fingers, and to move, and the pose, and sorry, the cape can come back to its original formation. Once you've done that pose, so there you have it, guys. I made a cape. And this wasn't a popular demand thing like that wire wire action figure, the wire skeleton thing that blew up really really fast. Thanks for that, and I hope this video does good too because lately I've been getting some subscribers and thanks for that. So that's about it for this video. Be sure to tap that thumbs up button, which looks like this. Also, there's this red subscribe button. Please press that too. And finally, there's gonna be a little bell that pops up. Press that too till these two lines come up. That means you'll get notified every time I post a new video. So that's about it. Bye bye.